Well, the purpose of a party is to have fun together. Show with Anna Devlantis, the Halloween show here at CD and me, all part of the uh, the great Chicago Hometown Voices Tour brought to us by Allstate Chicago's own good hands. Give it up for yourselves for being out here right now. Let's, we, I want to tell a little story here. This, this all started in the summer. We asked our audience to submit entries on our Facebook or on WGNRadio.com and tell us about you know, why you want this painting, and we were looking for either the funniest or most interesting story, and all of us, when we got to see this story, we were struck and said, this is it. This is the answer. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, uh, it, the recipient is Dominic Steinhauser, and he is here today with his mother, Deanna, and uh, let's first talk to the woman who wrote the, uh, who first wrote the letter. Explain your relationship to the family. I met Dominic and his family through his uncle, Mark, who's a Buffalo Grove police officer, and then uncle Mark's been involved, and so is his mom. And when I saw the contest, I knew I wasn't going to win for me, so I was going to win for someone else. Oh, that's awesome. And this young man is a huge Blackhawks fan, as well as his family and I. So Excellent. I thought they'd give me visiting rights once in a while. That's, that's awesome. That's awesome. And where is this going in your home? We've been talking about that. He wants it in his room, and his dad wants it right when you walk into the house. Yeah, so my nice. guess is dad will win. Well, congratulations to you and the entire family. This is really a special moment, and thank you for having Dominic out here, especially just after uh, coming out of the hospital and all that. It's just, and it's Thanks for coming it, out, Dominic. Give the entire Steinhauser family and Betty a round of applause right here. We'll continue live from CD and Me right after this on 720 WGN Chicago. Regular guy, and we are regular people. No matter what they say, we all equal. One power, one nation, jump like this is one big celebration. One of the things that we do here uh, for the Hometown Voices Tour is uh, donations are made to local organizations, right, that uh, are worthy of these. And, and who do you have here today? We have with us Dan Lovell from the Payless Baseball Organization. Well, I, can't, I can't see you through the wig, Dan. So anyway, so I, I, can, I can trust that, that, uh, that Dan is there. Oh, yes. All right. And, uh, what now, uh, and, and what are we going to be giving this organization? We actually have given them a $1,000 grant. They do a wonderful job. Roll, they're one of the largest organizations in the southwest suburbs. They do a fantastic job at keeping kids out of trouble, keeping them in the Little League organizations when, uh, in a time when a lot of people have gone to travel and parents can't afford to pay thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. They have a fantastic in-house program that's competitive, and, and I cannot speak to a, a, a better organization than oh, Payless that's Baseball. that's great. Let's give it up for, cool, uh, yeah. for this donation. This thousand dollars will go to what, what kind of stuff? Well, I mean, we'll, we'll be able to buy you know extra training for the kids. We've got uh, equipment, uh, we, the upkeep of the fields. The fields are beautiful over there in Palos Heights and stuff like that. So it's those type of things that this generous donation really helps us. All right, that's excellent. Did that's you hear from a lot of parents that said it's really difficult to travel and that they really wanted something that you, maybe they didn't get so involved in, in having to drive the kids so much? Oh, a absolutely. We hear it, we hear it every day because you know we, all our fields are in one spot. It's a family oriented. You've got kids. Like, I've got three boys in the program. They all go play at one place the weekend during the week. They can ride their bikes. It's back like kind of when I grew up playing baseball. You know, I ride my bike up to the park, play baseball, and then go home and hang out with my friends. And this is kind of the way we, we have it at Payless, and it's great. That's great. Yeah, yeah, it, it, and it goes back to what it really should all be about, right? Which is the kids playing baseball. Mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. All right. Well, uh, and uh, John, back to you. Thank you so much for doing this. And thank you so much for being out here and uh, being a part of this, and for Allstate being a part of this, because mm -hmm. they really are they are great partners of ours at WGN, and we can't thank them enough. Big thanks, thanks to all Thanks so much for having us. We had a great time out here, and I uh, look forward to seeing the future. Excellent. All right, all part of the WGN Radio Hometown Voices Tour, and this is the Halloween broadcast brought to you by Allstate, Chicago's very own good hands on 720 WGN. We are equal whether or not we stick together. I'm a regular guy, and we are regular people. No matter what they say, we are equal. One power, one nation, something like this is one big celebration. Alright, we continue with this edition of News or Roost. Then Ghoulie 
is joining us. And Sven is in the lead right now. This is an amazing, and I gotta tell you something, I'm like the United Nations, I'm the Kofi Annan of television, because I was able to bring together the Channel 9 morning show and the Fox morning show this morning, and now I've got, I've got uh, Richard Roper from the Fox TV morning show along with Sven Gulli next to each other. This, is, th this really is something. These are people who would otherwise be at war with each other, and they are here for this great cause today. All right, we start, we start right now, Sven is in the lead along with Madeline, and now uh, we need Keith and Judy to get this right to stay in it. Are you ready, Keith and Judy? Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Notice he's ready. I don't know about Judy. Here we go. <laughs> Australian town home to Foster's Beer Company celebrates iconic brand with high school naming ceremony. Hmm. Is that news or ruse? It's pretty popular in, in, in Australia. Though. Yeah. Well, did you name a high school? Though? That, yeah. I guess, is the question. Yes. But it is Australia. Yeah, right. It's not <laughs> like it's America, where we right. never do that. Exactly. So what do you think? This is do or die. It is. You got to get this one right to stay in it. And you don't want to see Judy go nuts. Here's the no. thing. I don't want the pressure, so you decide. And okay. I'll go on and go I'm going to say it is uh, It's news. news. News it is. News. And... Ah! Oh my, oh. oh, everybody in the first three rows, run for it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm not happy, I'm just not happy. <laughs> All right, so uh, Mark and Connor, here's your headline. Man calls 911, turns in drugs after hearing Obama's speech. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's gotta be news. I'll take it, I'll do news. How about Ooh. that? Oh. Way to go, Mark. Congratulations. He did it. I'd like to meet that guy right there. Man calls 911 to turn himself in after Obama's speech. They applaud the person's self-initiated efforts to turn himself in. And then gave him 30 years to life in prison. All right, here we go. All right, Sven and Madeline, here's your, here's your headline. Asthmatic cat wins lottery. Asthmatic cat wins lottery. Asthmatic cat. A cat as in a fever. Wins that we heard. lottery. Like a, and the like question a is, asthmatic cat, C A T, wins lottery. Although it could also be a jazz musician yeah. too. I'm not quite sure. That is like a, a feline cat, correct? Right. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm going. So what with, do you think? I'm going with Ruse. Yeah, that. I think that's a good idea. I've known only a few asthmatic cats, so. And. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's no